in running. We know it's a long shot. It's difficult, irrespective of, of the race, uh, for Indigenous peoples to get elected in this country. A long shot, but well worth the effort for Matthew Norris. The one city candidate ran for a seat on Vancouver City Council, but he fell short by more than 7,000 votes. Norris says there wasn't enough attention from parties and media to Indigenous voters. Indigenous people are at the forefront of, of a lot of the crises in Vancouver, whether it's housing crisis, homelessness, poison drugs, climate crisis. This former city councillor says improving Indigenous representation has to start at the party level. I think we need to make it clear that you're not a serious party if you're not running Indigenous people. Reimer has Cree and Métis ancestry, but she only discovered her Indigenous identity after she was elected to council and became a champion of reconciliation. With everything that we now know about the history of uh, colonization in Canada, that having Indigenous worldviews and viewpoints is a critical piece of a team that needs to be in City Hall or the school board or the park board. Indigenous candidates weren't completely shut out of elections across Metro Vancouver. In Burnaby, Mikel Sasakamoose won a seat on the school board. Reimer says Indigenous candidates will need support to break through in Vancouver. I think we, as an Indigenous community, need to stand up and support those people. We need media who show us stories about Indigenous people who are leaders. And Indigenous representation isn't just about responding to crises. Norris says it's crucial to completing projects. We're seeing the host nations, Musqueam, Squamish and tsleil really leading the way in this city in terms of housing, in terms of the developments that they're championing, in terms of climate adaptation. And while Indigenous candidates lost the election, Norris says he'd like to run again. Wamish Hamilton, CBC News, Vancouver.